tried some string and paper clips. Hey, he even tried his own tulip. Oh. Well, he stitched and he slaved and he slaved and he stitched until finally one night in the wee hours of morning, Otto arose from his workbench triumphant. Yes, he had invented the world's first over-the-shoulder boulder holder. But ecstatic, Otto ran out to the diva bearing the prototype in his hot little hand. Now, the diva did not want to try the darn thing on, but after many initial mishaps, she finally did. And the sigh of relief that it should forth from her mouth was so loud that it was mistaken by some to be the early onset of the Sharonda winds, which often broke through the spark ball with a vengeance. <sighs> but little did Otto know. At the moment of his greatest triumph, uh, lurking under the diva's bed, was none other than the very worst of the French patent thieves, Philip Divrazil. And Phil was watching the scene with a great deal of interest. <laughs> Later that night, while Brunhilde slept, into the wardrobe Philippe softly crept. He fumbled through knickers and corsets galore, till he found Otto's sling and he ran out the door. How I want 